Hey, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings. Today we are going to fire a cremation urn. Please come along. Today we are going to fire a couple of kinds of pots and one special one. I hope that it turns out. I know that we should never become attached to these things before they're out of the fire. Uh, but we'll see what happens. So a couple of them. Uh, from the Ancient Potter's Club, I have, this is a Dragoon shouldered jar, uh, red paint on brown, red on brown. Uh, so we'll see how that comes out. Uh, but the one that is actually most important to me, I, uh, my, my brother had a dog, uh, Jenny. It's a little miniature schnauzer in. Jenny lived to a ripe old age, but like all of us, age eventually catches up with us. And so recently, uh, Jenny, the miniature schnauzer, passed away. And I talked to my brother about it and decided that we'll try. And he was going to uh, cremate his dog, his very special pet, just like so many of ours are. And so uh, he's decided to cremate his little dog. And I asked, well, maybe I could uh, build a, a pottery urn in the kind of the traditional style. And I have no idea whether Native Americans used uh, urns for cremations. I know that they made bowls that they buried with people. Uh, so anyway, I, I built a pot and I asked my brother, I says, is there any iconography that you would like for your dog? And he said, you know, she always loved to chase squirrels. Of course, she, through her entire life, she never caught a squirrel, but in her mind, she could catch them and she kept trying. And so, here's the pot that I built. And uh, it's not very big, but it's not a very big dog. And uh, I used a membrous style kind of painting uh, of a squirrel. So the little dog can chase squirrels throughout its life. And then on the other side, we have kind of the wheel of life. And, uh, so I'm hoping that this will turn out uh, to honor little Jenny and uh, to do something for my brother, and, but we'll see what happens. At this stage I am preheating the pot. Actually right about there you can see a little finger pot that I made actually from clay that my wife dug up in our yard. And so this is an experimental thing. We'll see what happens. Uh, over here, I actually have a couple of lids for the funeral urn. Hopefully one of them will turn out. One's supposed to have a dog on top, but unfortunately it looks more like a pig. Uh, but everything needs to heat up a little bit ahead of time so we have less issues with thermal shock. This time I brought some broken up floor tiles to protect the pots during the firing phase. Last time I used terracotta garden pottery and it just broke. And actually I'm not very hopeful that this is going to last either, but it will work at least one time I think. concerned today because the wind is blowing pretty stiffly and I don't think that's a great thing uh, but we'll cross our fingers that is at 850 degrees Celsius I'm getting around 800, 850. That's a good number, I think. 
main part of the fire is now uh, burned off and we're in the oxidation phase. Uh, right in this area is where the cremation pot is. And over on this side, right here, that's the shouldered pot. Uh, so we'll just let this burn down and let it cool off a little bit. Here they are. It's not looking too bad. Crossing my fingers still. Well, let's see what uh, came out of our firing here. Uh, some, I think, good news and maybe not great news. Uh, but first of all, here's the little finger pot we made from clay out of our yard. And it started off as kind of a greenish brown hued clay, kind of a weird color, but it, it uh, when it fires, it's kind of a nice yellow. I like it and it worked pretty well. No cracks or anything like that. So uh, maybe we'll try and dig some more clay and do that. Okay, here's our dragoon pot, our shouldered pot, uh, red on brown. Looks good, uh, so I'm happy with that side of it. Uh, but there are some hairline cracks in here, and so it's not solid, which is unfortunate. So it's a partial success, I guess. I think part of the problem is it's a windy day today, and uh, where this was positioned in the fire, I think it cooled maybe a little bit too much or too quickly maybe a little thermal shock. I don't really know for sure. Uh, so it's really not a usable pot, although it could sit on a shelf and look fine, but it isn't quite fine. So the big question uh, is about the, our kind of funeral pot, so to speak, for uh, our little dog, Jenny. And so here we are. Uh, this is the end result. You can hear that. It rings well. It's got our little uh, squirrel on the front and then on the back side is the uh, circle of life so little Jenny can chase squirrels to her heart's content into the afterlife uh, kind of torment those squirrels I suppose but in the past she never caught any and so they're probably doing just fine too but overall this went great uh, if the color is it good is good there's a little bit of uh, burn marks uh, or smoke marks on the bottom. I think that just adds to the quality of it. I like that part of it. Uh, so no problems. And I was worried about the little handles here to attach the lid, uh, but they did not crack. Uh, so there aren't any cracks here. Everything looks solid. Uh, so I'm gonna be pleased with giving this to my brother. And then for the lids, here's the uh, lid that was supposed to look like a dog. It's kind of a cross, but I think between a bear and a pig. Uh, but it turned out fine. I don't know if stylistically it's what he would want. And then here is the other lid. Uh, and that turned out fine too. So with both of these, I thought there were opportunities for cracks. Uh, and they turned out just fine. Uh, so I am happy with that. I'm happy with everything except the, the Dragoon pot. And uh, I'm not going to take credit for it. I think I'm going to give credit to the fire gods. Uh, they seem to have treated me reasonably well today. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, this is Wes with Airstream Wanderings. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe if you like. But until next time, I wish you health and happiness, peace and love. Take care. Bye-bye.